Taste of Knots visit number four. Gonna get some of our favorites, do some shopping, see some characters. Have a good day, although it's really hot and humid. <laughs> yeah, so the, the first item I got today was the uh, watermelon lemonade. But you're not wearing a mask, so I can't share it with you because actually I should sit six feet away. Oh, she's not, she's not wearing a mask either. We're on this together. Starting with the good stuff, the watermelon lemonade and the churro sticks, which I've been craving since last week. So I wanted to make sure I got that first. That buttercream caramel sauce to die for. So I got two. Jen, what do you think of that buttercream caramel oh my sauce? God, that, that's... Nick? That's really good. <laughs> Pulled pork tater tots. Say it again. Pulled pork tater tots. Again, faster. <laughs> Today is Labor Day, September 7th, Monday. And in a normal year, Pont, not Scary Farm, would be starting in two weekends. Actually, less than two weeks. Knott's made the announcement that there's no Scary Farm this year. No Scary Farm as we know it. But I'm walking around what would be Forsaken Lake here between Ghost Town and Fiesta Village, and look what I see. There are lights up everywhere, which to me is a sign of maybe something to come. Fingers crossed. Yes, I do have a blog. Oh, what's your blog? Uh, the Funnel Cake blog. Oh, the Funnel oh, Cake. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. I've, yeah. All, all good things, I hope. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Always. Did you ever get on Sky Cabin? The mayor talks about you all the I know, time. I know. He says hello. Oh, yeah. Did you ever get on Sky Cabin, or that never happened? Nope. No, so now... No. Nope. Uh-huh. That's, that's more Might fun. Be probably. easier. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh -huh. we'll see ya. See you later. Stop by the subway. So what have you been up to? Nothing. Just doing this. Eating. Nice. Eating. Oh, yeah. Have anything good today? Uh, we had uh, the shrimp tacos. Oh, yeah. The churro sticks. Okay. How were those? Those are, oh, the sauce that comes with it. Like a French toast? Thing? It's a French toast churro oh, yeah. stick with the buttercream caramel sauce. And then oh, what else we have? Lunch. Oh, those are good. That's why we started with those just in case. That nice. way if you're, if you are you don't have room, you at least had the churros. There yeah. you go. <laughs> Good, we'll have fun waiting. All right, we'll we see will. you next time. Don't forget to visit our blog. All right, what's your blog? It's www.notsnuts.com. Www.notsnuts.com. K N O T S dot com. Okay, will do. Yeah. Will do. All Thank right, you. Appreciate it. Bye. Trying the hummus, tzatziki, and spinach dip with veggies and naan bread. Somebody ate this on YouTube. We hadn't tried it. It looked pretty good, so let's see what it tastes like. Got the chicken and waffles with the fire honey. The first week there were two pieces of chicken, last week there were two. Somebody must have heard me because last week I only got one. They're back to two pieces again. As a reminder, guests 20 years and older are required to wear a face mask in all areas of the event, with the exception of when you are seated at a table. About a week ago, I went to the candy shop outside of the California Marketplace and tried the chicken and waffles taffy, which was as interesting as it sounded. No bueno. Although I've heard that people either love it or they hate it. I personally did not like it and was stuck with a quarter pound or third of a pound or whatever it was, just threw it in the trash. So we decided to try some of the other weird flavors of taffy here at Knott's. So we just went to Classic Candy 
near the Charleston Circle Fountain. We've got uh, root beer float, cherry cola, buttered popcorn, and bubble gum. So bubble gum shouldn't be that weird. So let's try that one first. Let's see what this tastes like. Sanitize my hands. I touched a bunch of bags inside the candy shop. Fully sanitized, let's try the bubble gum taffy. Stuck to the wrapper. So bubble gum hopefully tastes just like bubble gum. Let's see. Very light bubble gum taste, almost like the double bubble, you know, the little ones that you get. That's not bad. I would actually eat a bag of that. Not all in one sitting, but bubble gum taffy. Next is buttered popcorn. And if anybody knows me, they know I love popcorn with tons of butter. Knott's has like the best popcorn in the cart over there, but the other cart wasn't open, so these are all stuck together. So let's try it. Right. Buttered popcorn taffy. Let's just say it's not horrible. It definitely tastes like buttered popcorn. Next flavor, cherry cola. Let's see what this one tastes like. They're all sticky today. Cherry cola tap. I will say one thing, whatever flavor it's supposed to taste like, it tastes just like it. Whether it should be a taffy or not is questionable. It's not bad. I probably wouldn't get that one either. Fourth weird flavor from the classic candy, root beer float. I'm not a big fan of root beer at all, so I'm probably not going to like this one. So oh, the root beer kicks you afterward. I know. I think actually, out of the four, I think I like the root beer float one the best. The cherry cola, the buttered popcorn. Popcorn shouldn't be anything other than popcorn. And the bubble gum was okay. My favorite flavors over there are the boysenberry, the peppermint, and the watermelon is delicious. But I didn't even see watermelon in there. I'll have to go outside and see what else they have. So these four. I probably would not get again, but if you love root beer floats, you'll probably love the root beer. If you love cherry cola, then that's definitely for you. Bubble gum is pretty normal. And the buttered popcorn, I know they make jelly bellies in those two, and I would probably just skip that one. So I'll stick with the uh, boysenberry, the peppermint, they have sours. So we'll maybe go try some more before we leave today. It is a boysenberry iced tea. See there's boysenberries in it? Do you want one? Halloween has come early. Just picked up my custom made birdhouse from a cute little shop. I'm the corner here at Taste of Knots. Fred made this for me. They're $28. They have more if you want one.